Hi, I'm Carol, and I live in First Hill in Seattle. My job is a great one. I'm a pedestrian and bicycle transportation planner. And because I am, as I say, inching towards 70, a lot of my work focuses on um, how people as they age travel, particularly walk and bike and use transit. I recently saw the episode of Grace and Frankie in which um, Frankie felt there wasn't enough time to cross a particular street. A clip from the TV show Grace and Frankie. At the crosswalk. Ready, ready. set. Go! Frankie no, toddles like quickly, like swinging her like arms. Like Joan me. Margaret like toddles me. far behind. Like me. Like me. Ah. Wait. Ah. Wait. Ah. She Wait. grabs Joan Margaret. Like you, like you, like you, like you. She holds up like her you. hand as they return to the curb. Like you. Wait. When people are figuring out how long it takes, how long they should set the signal for people to cross the street, they use an average walking speed which may be some people, but it's certainly not all people. I was very pleased a couple of, uh, about a year ago when I found a diagram called Can You Make the Light? The diagram shows a timeline depicting how many feet per second the average person from a certain demographic moves, while noting that common stoplights allow for people moving at least 3.5 or 4 feet per second. The diagram shows a toddler moving 1.7 feet per second, someone using a walker 2.1 feet per second, a person using a cane or crutch 2.6 feet per second, and a small small child 2.7 feet per second, a person using a wheelchair moves 3.5 feet per second, a senior citizen moves between 2 and 4 feet per second, and the average non-disabled adult moves 4.8 feet per second. About a dozen years ago we used 4 feet per second as that average speed for setting signal timing. Um, there was a new guide for um, traffic, traffic planning that came out and that used 3.5 feet per second. So that was a recognition that, that we had set the speed too fast. I would say that there are communities that are saying, gee, maybe three and a half feet per second is a little bit too fast and we need to reduce it to three feet. But the goal is to find something that's gonna work for about everyone, kind of in the vein of how universal design creates building entrances that everyone can use and, and other features of the built environment that everyone can use. Produced by Rooted in Rights.